everybody, and happy July 4th! The day where we celebrate America's birthday of being around for a few years now, and still being the fresh new funky kid on the block that everyone's kind of questioned about, about nowadays. So what I'm going to be doing for this special holiday, I'm going to be doing kind of like a whole like July 4th edition, special edition of my usual rec review, but this time with presidents, because America, there's a flag in my cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like look at the pictures of the presidents and just give my initial reaction to them because, quite frankly, not everybody knows who they are, and sometimes I don't. So, I'm doing a little history lesson for all of us. So, get ready, America. George Washington. He looks like he's like holding in a secret, but he's doing a really bad job at it. John Adams. Human hamster. Thomas Jefferson. Uh, well-defined cheekbones. James Madison. Gigantic solos of frog eyes. James Monroe. Former drag queen, now in his 70s, who's trying to relive his youth. John Quincy Adams. Your alcoholic and somewhat insulting uncle. Andrew Jackson. Great-grandfather to Gary Busey. Martin Van Buren. Santa Claus's twin, who really couldn't be Santa Claus because he couldn't grow a full beard, but he could grow great sideburns. William Henry Harrison is very sad. John Tyler. Sad poet, yet possible flamingo. James K. Polk looks like a seven-year-old who's actually a vampire, but actually a ferret. Zachary Tyler looks like a very sad bullfrog. Millard Fillmore looks like he goes to the bathroom a lot. Franklin Pierce looks like he could be a f he looks like he could be like an Instagram model who shops at Forever 21 a bunch. But he's actually 29. Forever 29. Forever 1829. Was he born then? I don't know. I don't, re I don't research these things. James Buchanan should not be wearing popped up collars circa 2003 American Eagle slash Arrow Pastel. You know exactly the look I'm going for. Abraham Lincoln is amazing. Andrew Johnson. <laughs> he looks like one of those stone trolls from Frozen. Ulysses S. Grant ate a lot of steak and now he's holding in a fart. Rutherford B. Hayes was born without a mouth. James Garfield loves lasagna like the cat. Cheap bones. Chester A. Arthur. <laughs> Couldn't grow any chin hair, so he thought about growing it around his face instead. Grover Cleveland looks like he owns a sandwich shop. Benjamin Harrison looks like he goes to ben to Grover Cleveland's sandwich shop. I had a lot of vodka. Grover Cleveland decided to run for president again because he lost control of his sandwich shop. William McKinley is Grover Cleveland's sandwich shop landowner. And he's very upset because he didn't get his money this time around. And the rent's past due. Theodore Roosevelt. You're amazing. I like you. You're my favorite president. Fun fact. William Taft got stuck in a bathtub once. Woodrow Wilson brought his cousin to prom. Warren G. Harding is the personification of Sam the Eagle from the Muppets. Calvin Coolidge. Looks like he was told by his mother to take a serious picture because he's always fooling around because he looks like he's an eight-year-old. Herbert Hoover looks like that one friend we all had back in the day who's kind of unfortunate and always kept tripping over rocks and his own feet. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Also amazing. He changed the world. He, gave, he, he, did, he did good things. Yeah. He should be a psychologist because he got us out of a depression. <laughs> ah. Oh, Harry S. Truman's a cutie. He's like that cute little nerd that everybody loved and like always like shoved around into like lockers and stuff and they were just like, you're a nerd. And then he became something powerful and started to rule a country and he was like, remember the time y'all pushed me into lockers? Look where I am now. Dwight D. Eisenhower looks like a very strict dad who always makes you go to church on the weekends. JFK, more like JF Bay, am I right? Lyndon B. Johnson 
looks like a leather couch that was stuck in some kind of texture change in temperature and caused his face to melt. Richard Nixon did a lot of bad things. Gerald R. Ford looks kind of like... He looks kind... He looks like an older version of, like, Rocky's rival in, like, that one Rocky movie where he went to Russia and, like, the guy was, like, jacked up on, like, Russian-ness. And he looks like he could be his dad. I think. James Carter! Jimmy! It's Jimmy! This is the best school photo I've ever seen. Ronald Reagan did things that happened. And he looks like your chuckling good old time grandpa who taught you how to make a canoe. George H.W. Bush looks like he, know, he knew exactly what he got himself into and is worried about the future. Bill Clinton. You know what you did, Bill. You know. What's Bill's favorite kind of cobbler? Impeachment. George W. Bush. Barack Obama. I think you're cool. So that's it, guys. That was my little July 4th rec review, kind of in a way, of me looking at photos of President's policy for the first time, because I forget what happened in second grade when I learned everything, but hey, that's a long time ago. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Happy July 4th. Have a barbecue. Have a drink. Go shoot off some fireworks. Don't do that. It might be illegal where you're from. And yeah, make good choices.